You know what the hell is this place, man? It, it definitely is some sort of a simulation sort of a thing. Seems like there might be some normal ass people out there somewhere that are able to see this shit or whatever. But dude, man. I mean... Right? I swear to God, it definitely seemed as weird as it is. Crazy as it sounds. It certainly seems like the world that I'm in seems to fucking revolve around me. Seems to be obsessed with like fucking with me, hurting me, like et cetera, et cetera. I, I, I don't. Trying to frighten me, mess with my head, etc., etc. You know, I mean, <clears throat> it seems like pretty much everyone I ever thought was a friend is basically what people would, what, uh, you know, would be known as a perp, target individual community. Or, that whatever if that exists would say that they were all perps my dad seems to be in on it um pretty damn near everyone seems to be in on it so what weird what's weird almost everyone and the rest just seem i don't know robotic or cold there's some kind of good people there that are nice but there um there's no real closeness there or anything you know it's it's i'm just getting fucking basically ripped prison attack uh you know i can give you examples of, of I'll give you a la one of the latest examples of how things are fucking weird here, right? <clears throat> okay, I've obviously already been to all the stores around town here many times. Alright, I door dashed for like a week, right? And... Since then, I have seen We Do DoorDash stickers basically in every store that I've never, ever seen in any of the stores before. Suddenly, they're everywhere. And now, everywhere I go, I see people with, like, DoorDash stickers on their cars there's DoorDash stickers in all the stores. There's DoorDash ads popping up everywhere. Yeah. That's just an example. Like, oh, it just so happens we decided to put all that shit up immediately after you did a week of DoorDash. Right? And, like, how come the app works on other people's phones, but mostly won't even log in on mine? Explain that shit. It'll only log in, like, if it feels like it. It's like, it's like there's some kind of spiritual power or some controller outside of this that, like, gets to decide whether or not I am allowed to log into the app basically most of the time doesn't even let me log in sometimes it'll let me log in and send me on some normal stuff for a while 
then whoever or whatever they are gets bored and then they start to fuck with my GPS, try to make the GPS, get me lost, kill me, whatever, start sending me shit fucking orders, trying to get me to drive a ridiculous amount of miles for shit for like no money, basically, make me lose money, <laughs> like, yeah, dude. I was gonna go DoorDash earlier. I was tired. I was very tired, but I was gonna do it anyways. <clears throat> Couldn't log in. This phone I'm talking to you on now, like, it's a new phone. Newer, better phone than the other one. But, never been able to log in and use this thing to DoorDash. Ever. <laughs> And I rarely even able to ever log in on the other one, but, you know. I don't know, I probably could have earned like a bonus or something if I'd ever fucking been allowed to do shit. Damn app would ever function. I'm getting screwed, basically. Like, I'm getting, like... There's some kind of power. Dude, I tried to find a cheaper motel room or even an equally priced motel room anywhere else. And then out of the blue, I just thought of some town that I'd been to like once. I was like, yeah, it's okay. Let's check that place, right? And like the cheapest motels there, which makes absolutely no sense, are like $280 a night or something. Like, <laughs> what? A lot of their motels are like $400. Like, it makes no sense whatsoever. Especially for that town. Like, no sense. Like, I actually started calling motels there, like, finding their phone numbers and calling them. Just so I could talk to somebody and go, uh, explain this? <laughs> I guess it's just, all well, those motels are like that. Like, no, they aren't. Fucking planet on here. Seriously, I've been, they got me trapped, basically, in this motel room. The universe that you're supposed to trust so much has me trapped in this fucking motel room so that I have no other option but here or the street. I live in my car on the street. Hope to God I don't get fucked with. Or I'm gonna live, I gotta stay in this motel room for too much money as it is. Because everything else is ridiculously overpriced. So they control, I can't, I tried to switch motel rooms even. Just to try to avoid the drama and bullshit of these psychos that are fucking with me. And they're like, no, this is only got to... Yeah, they wouldn't let me even do that because it's all part of this fucking system, man. It's all set up. It's all rigged to fuck with me. I swear to God. I swear to God and baby Jesus and all this holy in my mom's grave, this fucking shit is directly fucking with me. This world is seriously fucking with me very intentionally, very obviously. There's some kind of supernatural fucking control or power over this shit. That is somebody is like enjoying like screwing me around messing with my head trying to frighten me hurt me screw me over every which way they can and it's just happening pretty much constantly and it's on a whole like supernatural kind of level man it ain't fucking right I don't think I've ever done anything that warrants 
anything even close to this, honestly. I don't believe so. I may have talked some shit to some people when I was drunk too much. Probably in reaction to them, like, fucking me over and being assholes or something, but... And I don't know what the hell I should, like... I don't know, whatever the hell I done, man, I'm pretty sure I've already fucking paid for it, you know? And then some... With the shit I've been through just, just in... Even just this last year, let alone the many years of my life that have been fucked over with this bullshit. It's not like it's just been going on for this year. It's been going on many, many years. It's not right. It's not fair. It's fucked up. It's extremely fucked up. I mean, the shit they've been pulling on me, this psychological, emotional, and spiritual torture that's been going on for so long, like, nobody shaft and deal with this shit, man. Nobody. Not Hitler. Not Stalin. Not Mao. Not fucking Pol Pot. Like, those fucking pricks shouldn't have to deal with this crap, man. Sure as hell shouldn't. I shouldn't. Like, I know I'm not the only one. Fucked up, man. Seriously fucked up. <sighs>